My name is Larry Angler, and I'm the creator of the Poco Puppets. And that means I'm a puppeteer. So I do puppet shows, and I make puppets, and sometimes I show boys and girls and moms and dads how they can make puppets at home. And that's what today's show is all about. We're going to show you how you can make lots of different kinds of puppets from things that you can find around the house. Simple things. We're going to use paper plates and egg cartons. Do some puppets out of paper bags. We'll use some socks and, oh, here's something. Let's use a cardboard tube. You know, the kind that you can find in toilet paper and paper towels. And we're going to make a very simple hand puppet. You know, I'm waiting for a good friend of mine. His name is Wally the Walrus, and he promised he'd come and help me today. But he's not here, so we'll start anyhow. This is something that we're going to use for a hand puppet. So we're going to put it on our hand and move our hand, and that's how this kind of puppet is going to come to life. What is that? I'm late! Oh my goodness, I know I'm late, Larry. Sorry I'm late. Boy, was your boombox the most popular thing on the beach, man. I had it going. We had oh, everybody let dancing. Oh, have it, through. Wally. Oh, oh. Sure. oh, oh. That's better. I'm glad it's still in one piece. Yeah, I took good care of it. I did. Yep, yep, yep. Wally, we've already started the show. Huh? You did? Hmm? You remember you were going to oh. help me today? Yeah, we're going to make puppets, right? We're That's make... right, yeah. Wally. Are these the kids out here? Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, I'm well, really late then, aren't I? Yeah. Why don't you go oh. and, and change and get cleaned up and yeah. come back and help me? That's a good idea. I'll do that. I'll go take my sunglasses off, get yeah. my towel off, and I'll... I'm sorry, Larry. Good. I'll be back. You go ahead and start okay. without me, okay? Hey, Wally. Um, now, uh, let's get back to our hand puppet. Let's go over some of the materials that we're going to need to make this cardboard tube puppet, Okay. The first thing I need is a good pair of scissors. Boys and girls will probably want to use a pair of safety scissors like these. And older boys and girls and grown-ups can use scissors like these. Over here I have some non-toxic white glue and some ice cream sticks and some cardboard to spread the glue with. Here is a stapler and a roll of tape. This container is full of markers and crayons. Over here, I have some nice, colorful construction paper, and these are pieces of regular cardboard. This is a pile of felt, scraps of felt that I can cut up. And this pile is fake fur, small pieces that I'm going to use for hair. This is also good for hair. It's tinsel from holiday time. We can also use a piece of fringe and even some wool or yarn. These are feathers that I've saved, colorful feathers, very good for hair and wigs. This is pieces of fabric, different colors, cloth that I save. And this box is full of pom-poms, different colors, different sizes that I use for noses. This box is full of pieces of plastic. Look, there's a plastic fork and a spoon, ping-pong ball. This is plastic egg, nice color. Here's a cap. This I found around the house. It's just a plastic pot scrubber. But I also go out and buy things like these shaky eyes. Here are lunch bags, a pile of bags, and these are cardboard tubes. These are my paper plates. And the last thing on my table are these colorful socks. The nice part about watching this on videotape is that you can start and stop the tape and you can review any part you want to at any time. So, the first thing we need to make our puppet is a cardboard tube. And as I said, you can easily take one from a roll of toilet paper or paper toweling. And the easiest way to make a face on the tube is to just draw it on. You can use some markers or crayons. And let's draw some nice big eyes. Yeah, so that everyone can see this face that we're making, and hmm, how about a nose? How about a purple nose? We don't have to be realistic because this is our puppet. And maybe some lips, a happy puppet. Okay, so there's a very simple face. 
Larry, I'm ready. I'm all cleaned up. Hi, kids. I'm ready. Let's make some puppets, Larry. All right. Let's uh, do it. Hi, Wally. Welcome hey. back. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I'm ready to start. Well, we're actually started without you. We're, you did? Al we're already in the middle. We're making some hand puppets. You see, out of these cardboard tubes. What? Cardboard tubes? Yeah. Oh, wait. I got an idea. I know right where I can get a cardboard tube. Don't go no, away. I'll Wally, be right back. No, I'll wait, be right wait back. a minute. Oh, oh, Wally, go. we have the cardboard tubes. Oh, all right. Anyway. Now that we've drawn this one, you may want to make a puppet with a lot more color to it. And a good way to do that is to use some construction paper. So this is what we're going to do. We'll take a piece of construction paper and we'll cut it about the size of the tube. You see, so that's, I know it should be about here. These are safety scissors, which, you know, are just fine to use and we'll save them for Wally. But for now, I'm going to use my grown-up scissors to cut my tube puppet. So I'll cut my construction paper. And then I can just roll it around the tube. I'll need about that much. There we go. And now a good way to attach that is to simply take some white glue here, or you can even just take a piece of tape, and that will hold it onto your tube like that. Now, we have a nice blue color, and that's going to be this puppet's skin. So we need to put a face on him. Let's. Um, well, we could draw the eyes again, but we can use our construction paper again. I'm going to make the eyes this way. I'm going to take a piece and I'm going to cut it in half. So now I have two pieces together. And then if I cut a simple circle for his eyeballs, I'm really cutting two pieces at the same time. So they're going to be exactly the same shape. And a good way to attach my eyes is going to be take some white glue and put it on. And you can use almost any glue for paper. You can use rubber cement or other paper glues. And there we have two eyes. Now if we want to put eyeballs on or pupils, we can cut them out of more paper or we can simply take a marker or crayon and draw them in like that. Now for our mouth, let's try something different. Let's take a piece of felt and I'll make a nice smiling shape for this character. There we go. And the felt can be attached with a little bit of white glue like that. We've got an eyes, we've got a mouth. How about a nose? Well, I might want to get some dimension in my nose. So here's a pom-pom. I'm always saving things like pom-poms and caps from bottles and things to glue on my puppets. And this is a nose that has a little dimension. We can keep going. How about something for hair? Well, you know, I save a lot of things that I like to use for hair. And back here I have some boxes. This one is full of feathers that I save from feather dusters and other things. Here's some yarn and some wool that I use. Oh, this is some tinsel from holiday time. And oh, here's something nice, a piece of fringe I saved. or Here's a box full of pieces of fake fur. That makes very good wigs. Let's just take a little piece of fringe here. We'll cut it off. And we can use the white glue once again, just like that. And we will attach our fringe right to the top of the head. There we go. Now, white glue usually takes a couple of hours to dry, but I think that this will be enough to stay on. Hello, my name is Fringella. Larry, I can't see anything. Well, Fringella, I think maybe the problem is that the hair is in your eyes. So let's take the scissors and cut some of the hair away like that. One more. How's that? Ooh, that's much better. I can see now. Oh, I love this new haircut, Larry. Thank you so very much. Larry! Look, look! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready! I'm working on getting a roll here. It's a little hard work, but I can't, I, can't, I got stuck here. Wally, Wally, so Wally no, what, 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 please. The, the idea is that we wait until we're all done with the paper, what, what? and then we save the cardboard tubes. Here, let me have this. Have but, but don't worry, we, we have lots of cardboard tubes we already do. used up. You, do? you didn't tell and, me that. I wouldn't have wanted to go well, off again. Come over here. I want to show you some what, what, that I've already finished. <gasps> I wanna... Look at those. These are so neat, Larry. Look at her. What is she? What kind of puppet is she? Well, this is 
a cousin of Fringella because I also gave her some nice fringe hair. Right. And I had a doll's hat that I used. And look at her eyes. <gasps> they're shiny. They're yeah. shiny. Eyes. What are they made of? Two pieces of sequins, sequins. that I glued on. Oh. Very clever. <laughs> here's here's an interesting fellow. Yeah, he's silly looking to me. Now he's got eyes that are made from plastic spoons. Oh, can clever just clever idea, spoon eyes. And his nose, can you tell what, what is this is? That? This is the top to a marker. Oh, like one of those little marking pens. And one more thing that's oh. very clever is his hair. What is that made of? Well, I'll give you a hint, Wally. Can you guess what his hair oh. was? <gasps> it's a pot scrubber. That's exactly what it is. Very nice. Look at this one here. Now, here's a fellow. He's got big ears. <laughs> He's got big ears, and the ears are separate pieces of paper that I cut out and I fold it, and then you can just glue them on like that, and they can stick out and give you some more dimension. Whoa. How about those eyes? You like those? Yeah, those are, those are shaky eyes. That's right. You can buy them and glue them on. I bought oh. the hat also, but the hair is a little piece of fake fur that I glued oh. on. Oh, and that is too. our here. farmer character. Look at this one here, Larry. This one's kind of scary, I think. What oh, is yes. That? What is well, this has a lot of interesting things. Mm -hmm. The eyes are made from a piece of jewelry that I found. Oh, really? The nose... Maybe I should go in and get some of my mother's jewelry and bring it no, in here. No, no, no. You always have to ask first and oh, then okay. just use things that the people are throwing away. It okay. can, like this piece of tinsel. Oh, Somebody beautiful. threw this away and I made it into a wig for my lovely Halloween puppet. Really? That's nice. A little nose, too. Fancy nose. Now, I found a piece of feather, yeah. and I glued that on for this character's hair, and that had some nice movement. Like feather on, like a feather duster? Mm, that's that's a good like place that? to find one. Yeah. The eyes are two buttons. buttons. That's right. Buttons. And can you guess what, what the nose is? It looks delicious. It looks like a grape. It's a plastic grape that I found. Plastic one. And my last one, our monster over here. Oh. He has hair that's made of, out of fake fur. Yeah. And he's got a pom-pom nose. Look at that. And one more thing that he's I He's got teeth like me, big teeth. He has lovely teeth. And the teeth I made, what do you think? <gasps> From a plastic fork that I just, How did you do that? I just cut it off and I glued it on to the puppet, Whoa, you see? Oh, that's clever. Wow, Larry, these are beautiful puppets. They're really cool. Can I try one, please? Please, well, Larry? Sure, please. Wally. A monster, can I? Okay, let's, let's try that. Oh, put oh, your oh, hand oh, up oh, oh, and I'll oh, just oh, put it oh, right oh, on your fingers oh, like that. Oh, oh, let me see here. I am a monster. Oh, that's great, man. I want to show that to all my friends, Larry. Can I? Can I? I'm going to take it to all my friends. I'll be back. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Don't start the video without me. I'll be right back. Okay, Wally. One more thing I'd like to show you about your Cardboard 2 puppets is how to make a body. And there's lots of different ways. A very simple body can be just a glove. Here's a nice colorful glove that I had. And we can take one of the tubes and just put it on like that. Oh, yes, and that makes a very nice body. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to use a glove, well, you might just find a nice piece of fabric. This is one that would make a very nice dress. Uh-huh. And actually, this might make a very nice dress for our fringe puppet. Oh, yes. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, it's very pretty. It goes with my colors very nicely. Okay. Now, maybe you want a body with a little more shape to it. So let's use another piece of fabric like this. And this time, I'm going to put it over my fingers like that. And to give it a little more shape, I'm going to need a rubber band. So I'm going to put the rubber band around my fingers like that. And then I'm going to twist it around my thumb. And I'll take the other side and twist it again around my fourth and fifth fingers. And now, when I put the head on, he's got some real arms. Oh, I've got really nice arms now. Thanks a lot, Larry. So long. See you later. Hi, Wally. Oh, hi, Larry. How you doing, buddy? What are you doing? I'm drawing a picture of a face, a little bunny rabbit. I'm drawing, drawing, That's drawing, drawing. Very nice. Look at that. You know, this gives me an idea. What is it? You could draw a face and make it into a talking puppet. No, really? In fact, you all you need are these lunch bags that mm -hmm. I just brought in. Yeah. Let's use the bag okay. and we'll use 
the flat side. Okay. Now, can I use your marker? Oh, sure. Here. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is take the marker, yeah. and I'm going to draw a line right there. So it's right above the flap, you see? Yeah, yeah, right on the line. There. And then I'm going to take the marker and draw another line yeah. right below the flap. Yeah. Okay. Now, what do you think those lines are? Could it be the, uh, the lips? The mouth. Yeah, those yeah. are the lips. Okay. So, quickly, we're going to draw the whole face. Uh, what else do I need? Eyes. Let's put on nice, big, simple eyes. There we go. And so, eyeballs. What else do I need? Uh, a nose. A nose, a nose, a nose would be good. Yeah. Yeah. And Wally, you can put on whatever you like. You might want to give it some, some hair, a little hair. Hair, okay. We can draw some hair and maybe some clothes. Um, how about a, um, a bow tie? Yeah, bow tie. Okay. What about an eyebrow? Can do that. Whatever you want. Some buttons. Yeah. And then um, when you're all done drawing your puppet, well, can you do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if I do that inside the bag, yeah. look, that's how. Hello, Mr. Walrus! Hey, hello there, Mr. Bag! Oh! How you doing? How did you know my name? Well, I don't know. It's written all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> now, as we did before, we could make even nicer puppets by gluing things onto the puppets. Fancy stuff. Yeah, like fur fabric yeah. and pom-poms and felt. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I have some puppets I brought today that I made before. Oh, good. I like that. I like that. Uh, that. Here is a puppet yeah. with fur, yeah, and good. his costume is made out of some metallic fabric. Yeah, yeah, how do you like that, huh? I like that. I like Pretty that cool. Little, a little I'm, jewelry I'm a, there, too. Yeah, I'm, a nice, I'm a rock and roll singer. Yeah, yeah you want to hear me sing? No, thank you. Okay. Next. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, here's here's one where I've used a big pom-pom. <laughs> oh, yeah. For the nose, and I gave him a nice bow tie nice out of felt. Yeah. Let's see, what else do we have? Here's a nice lady, and her hair is blue. made out of blue metal fabric. Yeah, and there's little tassels all over the front. And here is, here's a fellow with pom-poms for his hair. Yeah, mm -hmm. neat. Now Very this cool. one Very I made, cool yeah. hello, with feathers for his hair, and I glued on some nice metal sequence oh, things. I like these puppets and a lot. she's got a costume made completely out of Little Package ribbons bows. and bows. Ribbons and bows, that's right. What's your name? So that's, now, Wally. Yes, sir. You were drawing a rabbit before. Yes, I was. And I'm I, very fond of rabbits. I can show you how you can make some nice animal shapes from your paper bag puppet. No, really? It's very simple. This time we're going to use some construction paper. Okay. And I'll put the bag here. Yeah. And I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to draw a shape that's a little larger. And we'll make some nice rabbit ears like that. Okay. okay. There we go. As long as it's a little bit bigger than the bag. Yeah. So now I'm going to cut that shape. Those are those are dangerous scissors, it. though. I'll tell you. Well, these are my adult, grown-up scissors. But you know, you may want to use your safety scissors yeah, when yeah, you do I, this. I would use those, definitely. Okay. There's my shape for the head. Now mm -hmm. I've got to attach that to the bag. Okay. What do you think? Why don't we use some of the white glue again? Good, good. And I'll carefully put some on the bag. Yeah. Now a good way to spread that is to take, you can either use a tongue depressor. Or a popsicle or stick. Or a popsicle stick is good. Here's one. Or you know what else you could use? Just a piece of cardboard. Okay. Just a piece of card, and we could just spread it around yeah. the bag. You see, so it's nice and even mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Yeah. Then all I have to do is take my shape and I'm going to line it up like that. You see? Mm -hmm. Now let's say that that's a little floppy so I might want to take another piece of cardboard or another popsicle stick and, and glue it right to the right. back. And I'll take another piece of the yellow and lay it on the bag and I'll draw a shape for the bottom of his chin and now I can cut that out. And I'll cut it so that we get rid of the color of the marker. Yeah, wow. That's cool. That's pretty cool. And that's going to be for under the flap of the bag. Wow. So let me quickly take some more white glue. And we'll put this right on 
the bottom of the jaw. And again, I can use an ice cream stick or a piece of cardboard and spread the glue all around. And now I can put that on. Now we've got the top of the mouth and the bottom of the mouth. Yeah, I see that. So we need to make some lips. I can either take a marker like this and just draw the mouth on like that. Yeah, wow. Okay. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Smile. And I can also take other pieces of construction paper like this. And I'll cut two pieces together again to make the eyes a nice simple shape. Okay. Now that's not really a wonderful color because the white is so close to the yellow. Yeah, I see. That's very interesting. Yeah. I think it would show up a lot better if I used a darker color. Maybe I'll just use this black paper to make the eyes, okay? Let's do the same thing. Cut two pieces of paper, make a nice simple shape like that. Maybe I'll just snip here and there. And now, oh, I can see those eyes very well now. So I'm going to put a little glue on my eyes like that. And here's a pom-pom, and I might put some glue on that, and that will give me a nice rabbit nose. Mm. How about some whiskers? I might want to just take a marker and draw some rabbit whiskers, eyebrows, whatever you like, maybe some clothes. And I can glue more things on. And there we have something that looks like it's going to be a rabbit. That's cool. That's pretty cool. You know, how about the inside of the mouth? Let's take another piece of paper like this and cut it just that size. Make a fold in it. Put a little more white glue on. Spread it around. And we can put that right in the fold. Wow. Now that's a little bigger than I wanted, so I can either leave it like that or I can just cut it around the edge to the size that I want. Now we have a nice colorful mouth. And I might want to put in a tongue. Let's put our nose back on. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Now, if you spend a little more time making your puppet, you might come up with a rabbit that looks more like this. You see, with this puppet, well, I've made some eyes out of three different pieces of felt, and I was able to make some teeth out of a piece of cardboard, and inside the mouth, I made a tongue, and then I decorated it with some circles to make buttons. That sure is a neat rabbit, I have to admit. I love rabbits and that's about the coolest one I ever saw in my life. Oh, Mr. Walrus, you're so kind. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Mr. Blue Bunny. Whoa. <laughs> and now, I'd like to show you, Wally, how you can make another talking puppet out of some paper plates. Paper plates? Mm -hmm. A puppet? Let's do it. I've sent Wally out to get me some paper plates so I can show you how you can make a mouth puppet out of paper plates. Something else you're going to need to make this kind of puppet is a stapler. <clears throat> some of you have already used a stapler, and maybe some of you have not. So if you've never used a stapler, you may want a grown-up to help you with making this kind of puppet. Whee! What, what is going on? <laughs> Wally, is that you? <laughs> I brought you your paper plates, Larry. <laughs> Thank you, Wally. saucers. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I, I love flying saucers. <laughs> I have an idea. What, what, what? Let's make a plate puppet of a man from outer space. With, with, with my flying saucer plates? That's right. All right, that okay. sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> now, to make this puppet, I'm going to need two of the paper plates. Two, okay. And watch what I do. Okay. The plate, as you see, has a curve to it. And I'm going to fold this plate in half so that the curve of the plate goes up like that. You see? 
Then I'm going to take the other plate and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold it like that so the curve goes up like that. Now, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut the plate in half right down the line where I folded it. So there is one plate cut in half right. and the other plate folded in half. Okay. okay, now watch this. I'm going to take the half mm -hmm. a plate and line it up to the folded plate. Right. And a good way to attack this is with a stapler. So I'm just going to staple the two plates together all around the edge like that. Then I'll take the other half plate and I'm going to line it up with the folded plate and do the same thing. I'm going to staple it around the edge like that. Now look what I've done. I've made two pouches or pockets and I'll put my thumb in the bottom and my four fingers in the top and there I have a mouth. And this is going to be the start of our mouth puppet. Oh, look at that, a talking paper plate almost. Well, it's the start of a paper plate puppet. He needs a face, Larry, he needs a face. Let me show you some ways that we can put some nice faces on these puppets. Okay. You can add a lot of color to your mouth puppets by using construction paper. Let's put something inside our mouth. I'll take a piece of construction paper and fold it in half so it fits nicely like that and it's a little bit bigger than our plates. Next I'll take some white glue and I'll put it on the inside of the plate all around, especially around the edges. That's where we really want the paper to stick. Now I can use a piece of cardboard as a spreader or you can use an ice cream stick or a piece of sponge rubber does very nicely too. Now make sure that I get the glue all along on the outside edges and nice and even. Okay, now I can take my red paper and put it inside and line up the fold like that and flatten it down. Next thing I'm going to do is take my scissors and cut off the extra red paper right along the edge like that. Now there's a nice color for the inside of my mouth and I might even want to glue in a tongue or some teeth. I can have a nice white puppet or I might want to make a different color, especially if I'm going to make a space alien. Uh, well Martians have uh, red mouths and green skins. Try green. So I'll take another piece of construction paper and I'll do the same thing. I'll put glue on the plate and I'll cut along the outside edge. And here's a plate puppet I've made just like that with all the gluing done. Here's a red mouth and I have green on both sides and there is the start of my alien puppet. Yeah. Oh, I got it, yeah, you got it? It's easy, huh? Looks easy to me. Now we're gonna put on our face onto this puppet these plate puppets tend to be very flat, so it's really nice if you can find some objects to glue on that have a different shape to them. Let's start with our eyes. Now, we could take an egg crate. This has a lot of different shapes to it, and I'm going to cut the front of it off. And this is going to give us some very nice eyes that come right out of the plate. Wow, look at that. Now I'm going to use a different kind of glue for this. This is a white glue also, but it's a much thicker craft glue or tackier glue. So I have to cut the top of the dispenser and then the glue can come out. And as you can see, this is a just a thicker white glue. It's going to hold this piece much nicer. Okay, we can put that about there. Now we can draw some pupils on this or I could just take a piece of black felt and I'm going to make it two pieces, just like I did with the construction paper. I'm going to make a nice round shape. Now I have two of them. Okay? And then we'll put a little glue on, see that? And we'll put it right there. Wow, yeah, do another one like that one. I like that. So how's that looking? That's great. Yeah. What can we use for a nose? I have an idea. We can take the top off of a bottle and we can take some more of this very 
thick white glue and put it all around, and then that can be a nice nose. Yeah, I love Martians. Yep, going to be a good Martian. Now don't worry if some of this glue shows because the white glue will dry clear and you won't see it afterwards. I think I want one more thing inside the mouth. I'd like a tongue. Nice Martian tongue. How about purple? So I'm going to cut a tongue shape out of my felt or my colored paper and put a little of my glue on it like that. Say ah. There. We're starting to get a nice face. Okay, Wally, what else could we put on our Martian? How about antenna? Antennas, good idea. In fact, I have the very thing. I bought some fancy pipe cleaners at a craft store. See how they sparkle? Pipe cleaners? Wow, sparkly pipe cleaners. What a great idea. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circle here, and then I can take my stapler once again, and I can staple the pipe cleaner right on to the face. And I can do the same thing on the other side. I'll make a little antenna shape, and then I can staple that right to the plate. There we go. And now I can bend them up, and I think he's starting to look very much like our Martian. Now, something else you might want, Wally, is a body for this puppet. And you can easily make a body out of a piece of cloth, just a big square, and I'm going to fold it in half. And you could either sew this by hand, or maybe someone might do it with a machine, or you could even take a stapler and just staple down the fabric like that. Okay. And then we can turn it inside out so we don't see the staples anymore. And there we have a nice sleeve or a tube. Now, how are we going to attach this to our puppet? Well, one way is simply to put some glue here and glue it right to the plates. Or you can use your staple. See how I'm going to fold the fabric like this and just put in couple of staples on the top, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Just fold it over and either glue it or put in a couple of staples. Remember to do your top and bottom separately because you have to leave it open so you can get your hand in, and I'll show you what I mean. Now I can put my hand through the sleeve and right into the puppet. Wally the Walrus, would you like to come with me to outer space? Yes, take me to your leader. Prepare to beam aboard the mothership. But I have to be back in a little while. Okay, we'll go for a short visit. Whoa! <laughs> Look at all these outer space creatures! All made like paper plate puppets! It's amazing! <laughs> now I'm going to show you how you can make some sock puppets. Here's a pile of socks I have. These are what I call odd socks. Sometimes when I do a laundry, well, I can't find the matching sock. So I call all those my odd socks. And I save them because you can make some really nice puppets out of them. Before you make a puppet out of a sock, you really should ask your mom and dad and make sure that it is an odd sock. Oh, I need one more thing. That's some cardboard. I'm going to get some. Um, don't go away. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm back. Wow, what a trip. I was in outer space. I was way up there in outer space with those other puppets and oh, oh what is this here? What a mess! A bunch of a bunch of dirty socks right here in the middle of the table. I wonder what they're doing here. Wally, oh, 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 Wally, hi, Larry. How back. are you? Look what I found! A bunch of dirty socks right here in the middle of the studio. No, no, no. no. These are clean. How how was your 
your trip to outer space. Oh, it was a wonderful trip in outer space. We had a lot of puppet friends up there. We went around and around all the planets. It was a beautiful thing. But what about these socks? Well, Look at them. They're all different Wally, colors. Wally, please, these are my, the, my odd socks. These are the socks that I, I can't find a match to. They are odd. They're a little odd, yeah. And I'm going to use them to make some lovely puppets. Some odd puppets. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, that sounds good to me. How do we do it? Well, Wally, the first thing we have to do is choose which sock we want to use. Yeah. And there are all kinds of socks. You can, you can use a white sock. You could use a sock with some color in it. That would make a good puppet. Here, you could use a sock with no heel or a sock with a heel. Yeah. You could even take some of these socks and you can turn it inside out. Whoa, that's something else. You know, I got a good idea, Larry. I'm going to go, and I'm going to wait for the dryer to finish, and I'm going to get an odd sock, a purple one, it's my favorite color, and I'm going to bring it here, and we're going to make a sock puppet, okay? Now, don't go away. Don't start without me, all right? I'll be right back. I'll be right back in a minute. Run, run. Okay, Wally. Well, while he's doing his laundry, let me show you a very simple way to work a sock puppet. Here, we'll take this yellow one, and I'll put it on my hand so the heel of the sock is sitting right on my wrist. All I have to do is take my other hand and push in the end, and that makes the mouth. And that's the beginning of how we can make a nice sock puppet. Mm -hmm. Now this is fine, but you notice sometimes that tends to move, so you can sew it in. Or another good way to get the shape is to use a piece of cardboard. That's why I went out to get my cardboard. So we're going to take our cardboard, and I'm going to cut a pattern, just an oval shape. Something like that size. And I'm going to fold it in half like that. Now, so here we have this cardboard oval. And now what I'm going to do is choose a sock. I like this blue one. And I think I'll use it with the furry side out. And I just want to make sure that the width of the oval is about the same as the sock. This is still a little bit big. So I'm just going to make my oval a little bit smaller on the side. That's good. Now I may want some color inside my mouth, so I'm going to take a piece of felt and I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger than my cardboard oval. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is use the same thick white glue. This is the special glue that is very tacky and is going to hold very nicely. So I'll spread it on my cardboard, and then I'll take a piece of cardboard or an ice cream stick, and I'll spread the glue around. I want to make sure that I get it along the edge. There we go, not too thick. I don't want it to go through my felt, but I want it to stick to my felt like that. So I'll press it down like that. And now what I can do is take my scissors and just cut around the edge of the cardboard and take off the extra felt. There we go. I can even take a little more cardboard off if I want to. So there you see I have a nice colored mouth. Now I have to attach the cardboard to the sock. So I'm going to take more of my thick white glue and I'm going to put it on the cardboard side of the mouthpiece like that. And once again, I have to make it nice and even. And I have to make sure that I get it on the edges. OK, now here's the tricky part. I've got my sock, and I've got it nice and even with the seam there. And I'm going to put the end of the sock right on the fold of the cardboard, like that. And then I'm going to fold it like that. That's how it looks. Press it nice and let it dry a little bit. Now, this doesn't really look like a puppet because it's inside out. So watch what I do. I'm going to put my hand carefully into the sock. And using both hands, I'm going to turn the mouth inside out. Let me do that again. I'm going to turn it inside out. And then I'm going to use my fingers on both sides. And I'm going to make sure that I pull some of the sock around the side of the mouth. And then we can wait for the glue to dry. And when that happens, we can add the eyes and the nose and the hair and anything else you'd like to finish the sock puppet.
Larry, Larry, Larry! Oh, oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I was out there trying to, to do my laundry to, to find if there were any odd purple socks. And guess what? We're out of laundry detergent, Larry. It's empty, empty, empty. Look well, at that. that. Empty, uh, empty, empty, uh, Wally, empty. Wally, it's fine. We have plenty of socks. But thank you for bringing me this empty detergent bottle. It gives me a great idea. You know, I could take... The, the, the cap off, is that okay? Yeah, I don't and care. And this would make a wonderful nose for our puppet. <gasps> really? You think so? I can attach it by using some of this thick, tacky glue. Watch, mm -hmm. I'll just put some around the side here, mm -hmm. like that. And now, I can just put it right in the middle of our puppet, press it down, and let it dry. And that'll be a wonderful nose oh, that we can see. Look at that, a good nose. That's pretty good, Larry. But what about the eyes? Well, Wally, I actually prepared something I call an eye chart. Why don't you step over here and I'll show you what it is. See, what I did is I put some eyes on a board as a suggestion for what the boys and girls could do. Mm -hmm. Up here I have very simple eyes made out of just one piece of felt, very simple shapes. Yeah, very and then simple. I used more pieces of felt and different shapes to make these eyes. Yeah. Down here I used different colors for my felt eyes. And here I started making eyes with more shape. I used plastic spoons. Oh, yeah. Here's some with that. eyelashes. Oh, that's cool. Here's some big wiggle eyes. What? Do you know what these are? No, no, what are Well, they? these eyes are made from buttons, and these are buttons. What are these? What are these here, Larry? These, these, these blue and white ones. What are very they? interesting. This is also a top to a bottle of dishwashing liquid, Whoa. and they have their own eyeballs in them. That's very clever. These are ping pong balls, uh -huh. styrofoam balls. What are these? These look like those plastic eggs. That's exactly what it is. Isn't that something? You know what, what my favorite eyes are, Larry? What's that? I like the spoon eyes the best. I think they're the best. Well, why don't we take their spoon eyes, and we'll take them off the board, okay. and we'll use okay. them for our sock puppet. So let's go back to our work table. And here's our sock puppet, yeah. and I can attach my spoon eyes. Probably I'd want to use a little more of that thick white glue. And there's yeah. some nice <gasps> Look at eyes. that beautiful face with my nose from my from my, my detergent bottle, and the spoon eyes, and, and, and the cardboard in the mouth. That's a beautiful puppet. How about some hair? Yeah, that'd be good. What are we going to do about that, Larry? Well, there are lots of different things you can use for hair. And one very good material I have right over here, we could use some yarn or some wool. Oh, yeah, yarn. I know what that stuff is. Now, watch what I do. First, I'm going to take another piece of cardboard, yeah. and I'll want this to be the length of the wig, so I could have it that length, or I could use it this way, or I could cut it to any size I want. Right. And I think I want a wig about that wide. You'll see what I'm doing in just a moment. I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and cut it right to the size I want it, like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the yarn and I'm going to wrap it around this piece of cardboard, like okay. that, you see? And I'm round going to do round this round. very gently so that I don't make it tight. I'm getting, I'm getting seasick here. And then I'm going to pull the wool together, like that. Okay. Now I'll wrap some more very lightly, oh. and then I'm going to pull it back. Well, that's almost enough. I think I want my wig a little bit bigger, so I'll I'm wrap it. Dizzy, Larry. I'm All dizzy. right, Wally. I think that's enough wool then, so we'll bring that together. And the more I put on, the bigger my wig will be. So now I'll cut my yarn, and I need one more little piece of yarn, so I'm going to cut another piece. Why do you need that one? Well, look at this. Now I've got to attach all these hairs. So I'm going to take this extra piece and put it under all of the hairs. Yeah. And then I'm going to take both ends and tie it. Like, like a shoelace. Yeah, watch. Here we go. That's like that. And I'll make a knot. And then I can cut off the extra. Okay. So here I have all the pieces tied together. And I'm going to turn it around and use the other side. And I'm going to take my scissors and cut all of the hairs. Okay. Now, look what I've made. <gasps> it looks like a little wig. That's right. I can glue this wig right to my puppet. Whoa. Now he's got some hair. That's awesome. What an awesome little sock puppet that is. Wow. 
Well, hi, little girl. Boy, this sure is a pretty puppet. She's got yarn for hair and felt on her face, and it looks like she might even be made of paper. I'm gonna ask Larry. Hey, Larry! Larry! Yes, Wally? Yes, sir. What kind of puppet is this? She's very pretty. How can we make a puppet like her? Oh, well, that's actually a very simple puppet. It's a hand puppet made out of a paper bag. And I'll show you how we make it. Why don't you come over here to the work table? Okay. All you need to make a paper bag hand puppet is a lunch bag about this size. And I'm gonna open it up like this. Okay, yeah. and now I need a piece of newspaper, and I'm going to make it into a ball about that size and put it inside the bag. That's pretty easy. Now, the next thing is I need a head shape. So I'm going to squeeze the bag, and I'm going to make a neck. And you can put the neck in different places to make different size heads. This is a piece of yarn or a piece of string right. or even a rubber band will do fine. And all I'm going to do is tie it around the neck so it'll hold it in place like that. Okay, and there's a nice knot. Now I'm going to stretch the bag and get rid of some of the wrinkles. And look at this, I'm almost finished with this hand puppet. What do you think is missing? The not any arms. That's right, we need the arms. Yeah. So right here on the side, under the string, I'm gonna make a little tear. Uh -huh. And then on the other side, right under the string, I'm going to make another little tear. And now, when I put my hand in, I can put my fingers through those tears, yeah. and that's the Look arms that. of the puppet. Uh -huh. Now, the next thing we got to do is to give it a face and hair and something to wear. So let me show you some puppets I already made. Oh, please do. Here's one I made, Wally, that's just drawn on the bag with crayons or markers. I like to glue things on. Here's some uh, felt pieces I glued on with a piece of fake fur, and that's a little piece of plastic egg. Look at the nice tie I made out of felt. Here's a nice little fellow with uh, eyes that are made from plastic spoons. And some gift wrapping bow makes a very nice costume, as does a little hat I found. This lovely lady has hair made out of holiday tinsel and eyes made out of felt. And the last one here has fringe hair, and I made her face out of a picture I found in a magazine that I just glued onto the bag. You know, Larry, I was going to go to the beach again tomorrow, but I've had so much fun here today learning every single thing there is to know about puppet making that I'm going to stay home tomorrow and I'm going to make puppets. How well, about that? that's wonderful, Wally, but you know, this is not everything you need to know about puppet making. Why, there are dozens and dozens of different ways that you can make puppets at home. Really? Yeah, so tomorrow when you're looking around the house, you might find some different ways and different materials to use. Really? You mean like, be creative? And use your imagination. That sounds like fun. I can't wait. Well, you know, we have to go now, Wally. And there's one more thing we need to do. Uh-oh. After you're done working, you should clean up. I hate to clean up, but you know what? I'm going to help you, Larry. I'm oh, going to help you. thank you, Wally. <laughs> so let's say goodbye till next time. So long, kids. Have fun. You can even make a puppet out of some egg cartons. Here, you need two egg cartons like this, and I can join them together by making a hinge out of a piece of corrugated cardboard. I just fold it like this, and I glue it to one of the cartons like this, and then I'll glue it to the other cartons, and that's going to make a nice hinge. Then what I have to do is cut out the back part so I can get my hand in, 
and then I'll need a piece of fabric like this and to make a tube for a sleeve which I can glue on to my egg cartons and then I can glue on eyes and nose. Here you might want to use ping pong balls for eyes and some fur for hair and if you do things like that well you might even get a egg carton puppet that looks something like this. Let me put it on my hand. Wow! Hello! <laughs> I'm an egg carton puppet! Here's another way that you can make an egg carton puppet. First, we're going to glue the egg carton together so it doesn't come apart. Then, I'm going to take a scissors and cut the bottom part in half, like that, so that I can now fold it like that. You see how I can put my hand in like that? That's why that has to be glued shut. Then you can simply glue on your eyes and your nose and your mouth and maybe even a cloth sleeve and you might come up with an egg carton puppet that looks something like this. Let's see what happens when I put this guy on my hand. Hi there. My name is Crate Face. Aha. And I'm made from an egg carton too. You can make a puppet out of a box. I'm going to use a tissue box. And the first thing I'm going to do is take some white glue and put along the bottom, like that. And I'm going to spread it out with a piece of cardboard, like that, nice and even. And then I'm going to take a piece of colored construction paper that I've cut to the same size as the bottom of the box. And there we have a piece of paper glued on. Now. This is going to be the inside of my mouth. So on the other side, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a line down this side of the box like that. And I'm going to cut another line down this side. Now I didn't do it exactly in the middle and that's on purpose because now I'm going to fold the box like that. And you see how that's going to look like the mouth of my puppet. Now I have to add a few things. First I have a hole there. Well I can fix that very easily. I just take a piece of cardboard and I cut it to the right size and I'll put it in the hole like that and then I'll just take a stapler or even some tape and I can attach that cardboard in. Now I'll do the same thing on the bottom. I'll take another piece of cardboard like this and I'll put it in and I'll use my stapler or my glue and I'll attach that piece of cardboard in. So now the box is all closed in. Now I have a little problem here, which is that my hand doesn't have anything to hold on to in the box. And this is what I'm going to do. I made a cardboard strap out of a piece of cardboard. And this is how I'm going to attach it to the box. All I have to do is fold it over the side like that. And I can take a stapler and I can just staple it into the side of the puppet. And you see right here I have enough room to get my fingers in. And I have another strap and I'll put that on the bottom section just the same way. I'll just slip it in here and I'll staple it or I can glue it right into the sides. And I'll do the other side like that. And that's just big enough my thumb to go in nicely. So now I'll put my thumb in that strap and my four fingers there and now I can work this puppet. Now I'm going to glue on some eyes and a nose and maybe add a cloth body. And when you do all those things you might get a puppet that looks something like this. Oh, hello there. <clears throat> I am a dog and my name is Boxface. You can make many different kinds of box puppets by using different size boxes. Here are some examples.